Remote sensing is our ability to get information about physical processes remotely, so observing them from satellites all the way down to flying drones. Before and after storms, you can fly and look at which places have been damaged, and that's all data that you've gotten from remote sensing. And this remote sensing data ends up being kind of the foundation for these decisions that people are going to make. So our radar station in Newport, overlooking the inlet, provides us information. What we do with our remote sensing information is estimate uh, bathymetry, which is a map of the underwater topography. I think remote sensing as a whole is a step towards safety because operating a radar tower is a safe operation as opposed to constantly taking out vessels. We can get information about how fast they're moving in the water column, get information about the wavelength, uh, without the need for deploying in-situ sensors, which can be expensive. A lot of people assume that coastal areas have already been really well mapped. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Those data largely don't exist in areas from 10 or 20 feet depth. And by not having those data, it really hinders our ability to understand coastal hazards, to, to be able to monitor, um, predict impacts due to coastal hazards. So my research is focused on how can we use new technology to map these areas more accurately and more inexpensively. With drones, we can map these areas and use that knowledge to decide how to build, decide how we can make these houses more safely and kind of help the public. GPS is initially designed for the positioning and navigation. By extracting the, uh, the signal quantity of the atmosphere, we can observe the quantity of the humidity in the atmosphere. So one of the recent studies we've done is to observe the tropospheric behaviors during the hurricane. So we can apply this technique to uh, track the hurricane path. The data from the GPS station, station is free of charge. You just uh, download the data on your computer and you process the data using your own algorithm. Taking the expertise of different researchers and leveraging all of that together that can really provide, I think, the most comprehensive understanding of what's going on on our coasts and the best ability to be able to respond to coastal hazards. We started working with remote sensing and saw the power it had as giving a synoptic picture of the ocean. And we started to see things that we hadn't seen before. That really drove my interest and my curiosity is how we could use this tool to better understand coastal processes, coastal hazards.